Hello, I'm Rihanna Huckins coming to you from Coral Gables, Florida. I'm at Coral Gables Hospital where urologist and penile implant specialist Dr. Paul Perito is hosting an educational event for the international medical community. Surgeons from around the world regularly come to Coral Gables Hospital to learn about Dr. Perito's innovative, minimally invasive penile implantation surgery. We sat down with Dr. Perito to ask him about this advanced procedure and how it can help men with erectile dysfunction. Penile implants are, a, are devices that are utilized in patients who have erectile dysfunction who have failed all other forms of therapy, whether it be pills, injections, gels, shots. Eventually, uh, patients end up at the end of the road, and the end of the road leads to the surgical placement of a, an implant in the patient's penis to allow him to achieve an erection. There are several types of penile prostheses. Uh, there's two in general, one being the malleable, the other be, being the inflatable. I only use a three-piece inflatable in cases, in almost all of my cases, but in general, if I'm gonna use a malleable penile prosthesis, which is a prosthesis that has no pump mechanism and no transfer of fluid, th these implants are reserved for patients who have problems with de dexterity, whether they have Parkinson's, have had a previous stroke, and they're unable to manipulate a pump. The three-piece penile prosthesis that I use is a device where you transfer fluid from one part of the implant to another through a pump mechanism which is located in the scrotum. Uh, during sexual intercourse, uh, you, you pump the, the implant until the penis is completely inflated or erect. And uh, after coitus is terminated, you're able to deflate the, the mechanism. And that deflate process is very important because you want to be able to have it concealed. For example, if you go to the beach with your, your, your children, or if you're in the pool, or, in your, or if you're in the steam room, nobody will notice that you have an implant because it detumesces or it, it remains in the flaccid state just like a normal penis would. For the last 20 years, I've been attempting to make the process of penile implantation as simple as breast implants. There's some very interesting numbers. Uh, across the United States every year, 300,000 women undergo breast implantation. Across the world, 20,000 men undergo placement of penile prosthesis, of which I'm doing 500. So, I believe that this procedure, as it continues to evolve into something that is so simple, simple, eventually those 20 million men that are rendered impotent in the United States will have the option to have a very simple, efficacious, and safe procedure to treat erectile dysfunction. When we place a penile prosthesis, we don't touch the nerves, so we don't change anything about the way you feel during sexual intercourse. If you're able to ejaculate prior to the implant, you will be able to ejaculate after the, the penile prosthesis. The penile prosthesis is designed to only make the penis erect. Efficacy in penile implantation is basically measured by patient satisfaction, just like breast implants. Uh, patient satisfaction rates are usually in virgin cases, patients who have never had a penile prosthesis close to 95%. In patients who have had Peyronie's disease, which is, is a disease, if you don't know, that causes contraction of the penis, those patient satisfaction levels notoriously have been somewhat lower, mostly because the male has lost either length or girth in his penis. So we are aggressively uh, moving towards treating Peyronie's patients earlier with the penile prosthesis to avoid these sorts of uh, diminished uh, um, measurements in the, in the penis. And thus, we're seeing our patient satisfaction rates, even in Peyronie's patients, rise up to about 85%. The, the procedure that, that I do, the minimally invasive penile prosthesis, the Pareto implant, is uh, a procedure that takes under 10 minutes every time. 
Now we have a beautiful surgical model here at Coral Gables where I have a team, uh, an anesthesia team, a surgical team, and everybody around us that, that makes this surgical model such a wonderful uh, procedure for patients to undergo. Here at Coral Gables Hospital, we have a surgical model that's not looked at by only urologists. We've had gynecologists, we've had all types of surgeons come down to look at the general surgical model, how the rooms flow, how the, the, the assistants and your, your scrub techs work hand in hand with the surgeon in order to make it more like a dance and how anesthesia is able to you know, move cases through, whether it be general uh, spinal or uh, local anesthetic. The team is a typical American team, super efficient. That's all I can say, super efficient. Every team member from the, uh, from the TI to the nurse to the anesthetist and the tech, everyone knows what, the, what their job entails. This program is different uh, to other programs uh, because of the sheer size and the number of cases Dr. Burrito does. I think it's, uh, it's a great experience to be able to do. Uh, we did 16 cases today uh, with Dr. Paul Perito and, and I think uh, this, uh, this, this talks uh, about Dr. Perito's experience and practice uh, in great volumes. Patients who have erectile dysfunction should realize that when they've reached the end of that road that they've been on, whether it be pills, shots, gels, or other assorted uh, very, uh, ways of treating erectile dysfunction, that that's not the end of the road. There is a, a surgical option. That surgical option historically was somewhat scary and now with the, the advances between the colleagues, all of my colleagues and everything that, that, that we do here, no patient should be afraid of undergoing a penile prosthesis if they want to continue coitus. There, there's one very interesting fact that a, a lot of men don't understand, and that is the day that you're rendered impotent, your penis begins to atrophy. Many of you that look online may read that the penile implant makes your penis shorter. This is not at all the case. Impotence makes your penis shorter. I took a cohort of studies and I put them all together and the numbers that I like to quote my patients are 0.5 to 5 centimeters in penile loss every 18 months. So if you have erectile dysfunction and you plan on doing something about it, don't wait. Find a urologist with experience uh, in, in performing a minimally, minimally invasive penile implant in, there in your area and you should be able to be treated and be extremely happy without suffering some of these losses that are not related to the penile implant, they're only related to waiting to get a penile implant. Anyone with erectile dysfunction who is thinking about having this type of minimally invasive procedure should remember that a respected surgeon is right here at Coral Gables Hospital. Our community should also be aware that expert care is available to those who are experiencing any type of urological condition. The urology program at Coral Gables Hospital offers treatment for men and women, including male and female sexual dysfunction, prostate conditions, and kidney and bladder disease. Choose Coral Gables Hospital and know that you will receive comprehensive care from a team of surgical experts with advanced training and experience. If you have any questions about penile implantation surgery or the urology program at Coral Gables Hospital, call today.